all the Class A photos from the fire. Uh, yes, sir, Madam Lindsay. And don't call me Madam. Uh, most of the hundred dollar girls are busy tonight working here on this United Glass Party. <laughs> this Christmas rush is certainly a godsend to my party girls. Here, take this deposit to the bank. Uh, yes, Madam. Uh, madam, uh, that is, I hope you'd send me on a party. You want to become a party girl? Oh, Miss Lindsay, I'd like nothing better. Hmm. You do all right. <laughs> They'll like you. Come to the United Glass Party here tonight. Oh. You're keeping everything clear for the United Glass Party tonight, aren't you? Why, of course, Maud. I'm being prime right now. Oh, my royal patootie is here, but, oh, patooting my gorgeous pale body. And I'll be ready for most anything if she cracks my spinal column once more. Oh. Call it a wise crack it. You've got to bag that new cast contract tonight for the United Glass Company. Oh, oh I'll right crack all right. Oh. We won't resolve. Bye-bye, dearie. Bye-bye, madam. See you in church. Turn over. Oh, gee. You're just as easy as you can, will you? Oh! 
Hello, Miss Fanny. What have you there? That's the ground plan of Madame Lindsay's apartment, where the United Glass Ballot will be held tonight. And I'm to be there as a party girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and with Mike there as the bartender, we ought to acquire all the evidence that's necessary. That's good work, Miss Manning. Oh, thank you. Miss Powell, has my son Jay called yet? Not yet, Mr. Roundtree. That boy should certainly be here by now. Why, he planned to leave the university last night. Oh, possibly he stopped to do his Christmas shopping. Shopping? Huh. What would he use for money? Besides, that isn't likely with you here. Now, there's one sensible thing that boy of mine has done. What's that, Mr. Roundtree? Why, those uh, bulky letters you received from Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> You'll call the house. Bryant, 7713. Will you please have him call as soon as he comes in? Paul? Take a letter to my father, telling him of my arrival. Yay! <laughs> Hello, honey. Your hours of happiness have arrived. Well, the co-ed's idle himself. <laughs> Say, have I remembered to tell you how crazy I am about you? No. But now that you mention it, I recall telling myself last night that I thought a wee little bit about you, too. Oh, now, did you? Gee, Ellie, you look good to me. And honest to goodness, I've missed you. Have you really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad to know that. Why? Oh, Pardon me. Why not? Pardon me. Oh, that's quite all right, sir. You're pardoned. Well, young man, can I presume to hope that you have a minute to greet your father? Or uh, am I intruding? Oh, it's all right for you to come in here and disrupt my office. Take my secretary's mind off of her work and touch me for a hundred. That's what I'm here for. Or oh, anything to make my son's life a bed of roses. Ah, hello, Dad. I was just on my way in to see you. Wasn't I, Ellen? You had, Mr. Roundtree. What makes me sick is you, you expect me to believe that. Well, it's too bad. I have a two o'clock appointment. It's five past now. Well, here. Here's your hundred. Take it and join me tonight at dinner. Thanks. Oh, sorry about dinner, though. Important engagement. Miss Powell, are you responsible for this? No, Mr. Roundtree. I regret to say that I am not. No, Father. Fraternity banquet. You're a new Sigma. You're one of us. You know it's important. Well, uh, it's importance I do not question. Well, may I hope uh, for tomorrow night? Oh, Father. Father. Tender spot. Tomorrow night. Belong. To Miss Powell. Oh, Mr. Roundtree, I'll retire in your favor. Oh, no, no, no. That, that isn't necessary. No. I'm just his father. And I bow to matters more vital. Ah, now, you children, you remember that the following day is Christmas. And I want you to keep a respectable hour. Yes. I brought Mrs. Lindsay that you might learn from the source how the United Glass Company and our other competitors are using party girls so we can fight them with their own weapons. I understand. In what other lines of business are party girls being used? In all the trades, Mr. Roundtree. They don't come too big or too dignified. From Fifth Avenue retailers to Eleventh Avenue wholesalers. Mm, that takes in a lot of territory, doesn't it? You bet it does. In three months, one firm did more with eight business parties than it did with 20 high-pressure salesmen in the same year. That's so? Yes. It's the same story wherever party girls are used. I assure you, Mr. Roundtree, it's the woman who sells these days. You mean it's the woman who sells 
these nights. <laughs> <laughs> and how she sells. I'm not interested. Your plan doesn't appeal to me. I uh, don't like the odor, madam. Mr. Roundtree, I don't see how we can fight female persuasion with catalogs <laughs> and uh, cigars. The trend is all against it. Robert, I've been doing it for years and I'm still in business. We're going to continue to make good glass and sell it. This is where you've been hiding. Well, I've been trying to locate you everywhere. Why, well, I haven't been hiding. I've been working. Trying to forget that I was ever a party girl. Nonsense. You could have the world at your feet without half trying. I'm very happy as I am, Mrs. Lindsay. Perhaps during the holidays. No, Mrs. Lindsay. Don't count on me. Silly girl. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. Glad you've seen you again, Ellen. Bring me the Manufacturers Association file and all my correspondence about the party girl racket. Robert, as president of the Manufacturers Association, I am having confidential notices sent to our members from time to time on this very subject. Our last report states that immediate action from the district attorney's office is contemplated. What? We intend to take a few drastic steps. Why, uh, is it a crime to be clever at selling? If loose women and immorality are used to encourage sales, yes. It is a condition that I, and many other fairly respectable businessmen, will not tolerate. Is this everything you have on the party girl subject? Everything, Mr. Roundtree. Yeah, Robert. Glance over these choice reports, and you'll see that party girl business is decidedly dangerous business. Uh, that will be all, Miss Powell. Well, when the district attorney acts on this, a lot of businessmen are going to have plenty of explaining to do. And the explaining won't end in the district attorney's office. If I know some of these wives... <laughs> he came home today. Oh, now, gee, I'm wild about that boy. Oh. He's so doggone lovable and decent. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh, dear. You may be right, but all that gush won't get you into the bright light. And that's where you'll find my pale body. Well, on your way. When the wedding bells ring out for me, there'll be tears of envy in your eyes. There'll be tears there, honey, but they'll be from hysterics. You go to the country and raise children, and I'll stay in the city and raise whoopee. Good evening, Miss Cather. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Ooh, nice kitty, kitty, kitty. Who kicked in, dearie? Who paid the price? Listen, babe in the woods. Don't get insulted. Insulting my hat. I couldn't insult you. Not and stay healthy and fresh, you couldn't. You're just a beginner and out of your class in this party game. The invasion of youth isn't bothering you, is it? Oh, I'm doing pretty well for my age. At your age, you should do well. <laughs> That Kayla girl comes from a fine old family, doesn't she? Yes, but they're broke and she's running pretty wild. Come landlord, fill the flowing bowl and fill it to flambo. Come landlord, fill the flowing bowl and fill it to flambo. For tonight we'll have a happy day. For tonight we'll have a happy day. For tonight we'll have a happy day. And tomorrow we'll be sober. Tonight we'll have a happy day, for tonight we'll have a happy day, and tomorrow we'll be so.
away at a hot party. Some high-life ladies and lots of them. Great. We'll crash them. Hey! always take my mind off of business. Thank you for having me. you take your mind off a lot of things. Come on, boy. Bend the elbow. Let's have a little drink, Sam. It's one more way to I say it's right. Honey, I'm burning up. I'm on fire. Fast. Can't stop us, fellows. I know another way to get in. Boy, we crash it on a bus. <laughs> oh, how I adore you. Oh, how I adore you. Living only for you each day. Watching for your smile. Worth a while, dear. 
right. Coming back? Mm hmm Okay, right. baby. That's that. How are things going? Still peddling glass? No. You know, this is wearing it all. Guy, how are things going? I have a new castle. <laughs> That's what so. That's five grand for you when and he listen, signs. I've got it all set right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying to stall me, and I won't stand for it. You've got to talk to me now. Why should I have been trying to stall you, Lida? You knew why. But listen, Lida. Come on. You don't have to listen. She's been making a play to get new cash alone. It may mean something. Well, Di, there she goes, with your man. But Lida, you don't want your wife to hear about this. She can't pull that stuff and grab my ass. I've got an idea. Come on, let's go for a walk. All right, honey, say, you're a sweet baby. Give us a kiss. You and I for the mop. Jolly old daddy. Let's sit here. Suits me, Queen. If you don't believe me, get in touch with my lawyer. But, Lita, what's gotten into you? I'll see that you're protected. I'm your friend. Friend. <laughs> Yeah. Come here, I want to tell you something. What? Oh, just what I want. Yes. Now listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that will be a sensation. Yeah, listen, I'll go get some more perfume. Watch. That's the idea. I'll, sure, I'll get it right away. Watch. Oh, Ma, you're clever. <laughs> oh, leave it to me. You've got to help me out of this so that Mother won't know. I'll do what's right. No, oh, don't stall. Or I'll call at your hotel. You can depend on me. Jeremy, give me the party favor for you. Say, what's the big idea? You didn't hurry? <laughs> <laughs> You bet, listen, you'll go around and collect a bowl of perfume and bring it to me in the pool, huh? Geraldine on the job, big boy. Okay, hurry up. And the trouble with me is, my dear, my wife don't understand me. Is that so? Look at all the perfume I found. Put it all in, Geraldine, and Sam, don't you drink it. I never tasted such rotten poison. <laughs> <laughs> Party by Slango, perfume by Lucas, and Beth by Diana. <laughs> gentlemen. that she doesn't start anything. Now, don't worry. Leave it to me. Best little gal in all the world. Oh, 
Oh, Jay. <laughs> you look like a regular fellow. Say, Blato, I like your friend's look. <laughs> Thanks, Lita. Nice of you. <laughs> Come on, boys, we'll all have a drink. Three, Three big ones. For me? Hey, I'll call my friend. Dave, hey. come here. Who are these birds and how'd they get in here? Me hmm? anything more? Why, it's that Shaw fella. He must have crashed the gate. <laughs> Taste of old Come on, Yes. Hey, horse face. What do you mean, scram? We're guests of... Of, um... Of honor. I'm proud of this fun. Let's go places. Fine. And start things. And what things? What's that? Come on, I said get going. Pipe down. Now, clear. We're going to huddle and smear you. What do you mean, ugly? You ain't no raven beauty, are you, Pansy? <laughs> Come on, egghead. Sorry, I... Oh, how could I have done such a thing? What can I do to make it right? If you can't see your own obligations, I can ask nothing. Obligations? Why, why we don't even know each other. I, why didn't you know I... I'm in love with someone else. Good heavens! What can I do? What? What could any gentleman do? What can I... What, what can I say? Tell her. We could say that we had eloped. That we got married. Lita! What is this? We... We eloped. We were married last night. From your husband's attire, I would think you did it in a hurry. Mother, this is Jay Roundtree, my husband. You see, we, we didn't plan to tell you until we left on our honeymoon. I hardly know what to say. What can I do but bless you, my children? A spoiled child has pleased her mother very much. I will leave you alone. I must notify the papers immediately. The papers? Tell her not to do it. Mother! It worked beautifully. He'll go through with it. You'll see that he does. I stopped her. Said you wanted to see your father first. Dad. You have every reason to hate me, Lita. Oh, I've been a beast. But I'll, I'll do my best to make you happy. I know you will, Jay. Wonder how one goes about getting married. Do you want to? I guess so. I don't look much like a groom. I I better send for some clothes. Send for them now while I get dressed. All right. I, I'll wait out here.
Ellen. Say, aren't you proud of your bride? The reporters of the license bureau have certainly played up our marriage. Jay, you act as though it were a prison sentence. I hardly know how I feel. Let's go somewhere on a honeymoon where we can be marvelously happy. I can't just now. I'm broke. You must go talk your dad out of a role. Then we'll run away to Europe and just live. You don't know my father. He's already cut my allowance. Now he may stop it entirely. But you're married. You'll have to kick through. I wonder. Maybe you're right. Go get it over with. Might as well. Jay, darling, isn't it early to start being absent-minded? Kiss me. Bye, Lita. Be back in half an hour. Kiss me like you meant it, as if you loved me. It's a bit early to love you, Lita. But maybe someday I will. Liar! You will never love me. I hope there's more coming to me than this. I want to be happy. So it's up to you. I'll do my best. Dickory 9961. Walden Hotel, call room 809. Mr. Paul Newcast, please. Hello? Yes, this is room 809. It's Miss Cater. I'm not in. Sierra, tell Mr. Newcast this is Lita and ask him if he has seen this afternoon's papers. She wants to know if you read the afternoon paper. Mon Dieu. What now? I'll speak to her, Pierre. Hello, Lena, darling. Don't you owe me a nice wedding present? A pretty piece of paper with four figures and your name signed to it? You're a dear, sweet girl. I'll send it right away, Mrs. Roundtree. Mrs. J. Roundtree, if you please. Sounds good to me. That gives me an idea, Paul. I want you to be good to my firm. That's right. You marry the bottle maker's son. Sure. And I want you to make old man Roundtree happy with a big Christmas order. That contract United Glass wants so badly belongs to Roundtree and son, doesn't it? Ah, uh, still the party girl, my sherry. Anything you say. You generous daddy. Yes, and it's right over. Goodbye, Paul. Nita. Why, Jay, I thought... You thought I'd gone. Well, what are you up to? Don't be silly. It's nothing. Sounded like it. What's it got to do with a round tree in United Glass Company? I only asked my uncle to give his order to your old man's firm. A business party last night. What were you doing there? The same thing you were doing, trying to have a good time. You were there as a party girl, weren't you? Yes, I was. Now I'll run along and tell your papa that your wife landed him a million dollar contract. The Newcast business is safe. Newcast? That's the man you called Daddy, wasn't it? That's right, Jay, dear. Oh. No, I've been a fool, a blind fool. You're crazy. Stop looking at me that way. You're keeping something back. You're going to tell me. I have to choke it out of her. All right, I will. Give me a chance. Tell me. Newcast was your lover, wasn't he? Yes, you fool, he was. That's why I needed your name. Now what are you going to do about it? Oh, you're rotten. You're just a little trap. <gasps> well, in what way are you any better? Listen, you made a sap out of me. But I'm through. 
through. Through, are you? Do you want your father to read in the newspapers? Young Roundtree leaves bride on wedding day. Result of drunken escapade. Now be reasonable. You can have your name back if you and your father are nice to me. Is it a bargain? Word for word, like last year's agreement. That's all I need to know. I'll sign it now. I didn't know you were here, Mr. Alvin. Santa Claus must have brought you just what you wanted, Miss Powell. Santa Claus <laughs> did. <laughs> there we are, John, for another year. In dollars and cents, it means twice as much as last year's business. That's the kind of business we like, Paul. Oh. <laughs> to grow with our customers, eh, Robert? That is our principle. You know, John, I was reminded of my duty to old friends by your son's marriage. My son's marriage? Well, what do you... They didn't tell you? Huh! There's modern youth for you. I read it in the papers. What has that young idiot gotten himself into now? It's on the front page of all of them. That certainly handed him a wall. Miss Powell, <laughs> is the afternoon paper here? Yes. I want to precarious the story of my son's marriage. Your son's marriage? You mean, Jay? Oh, uh, uh, how do you do, Lou? Uh, excuse me, won't you? Well, hey, certainly, John. Well, how are you? Why? Oh, no. I'm glad to see you. Ellen, what could the boy be thinking of? Well, I guess he knew what he was doing. Try and laugh at all. And if you don't need to let me, I'd do anything in the world for you. Anything. Thanks, Lou. For me? For you? Merry Christmas. Thanks, buddy. You're awfully sweet. Skyler 5151. I want to talk to the caterer, Pop. Hello, is Jay Roundtree there? Jay, this is your father. I want you and your wife to come home to dinner tonight. $5,000. It's not enough for an honest working girl to lose. I had it all sewed up until your JJ fell in. Well, what do you mean? What did JJ do? Do? Plenty, baby, plenty. He married that little society trollop just to hold a new cap business for his old man. Well, that's a lie. You hear that isn't true. You don't know the half of it. She had to have a husband, and your little tin god came to the rescue. He's been tricked. Tricked my ankle. He's giving you the runaround, sweet and pretty. Di, I'm in no mood for any of your smart remarks. You don't know what you're talking about. Is that so? It's okay with me. Stay lovesick. I guess I'll have to. Sure you will. Until death do us part. But the other girl wears the ring. Di, you keep quiet. Oh, if you're a picture of virtue reward, I'll go my way and like it. I'll go my way. We've known each other since we were kids. And your family has asked me many times to stick with you. There's no use doing anything more. Wait, Ellie. We're both excited. Please, Elliot, I didn't mean to do it. Honest, I didn't. Be reasonable. 
please. No use waiting. Oh, Ellie. Gee, kid, I can't live here without you. I need you so much. Please. Oh, don't cry. Don't do that, please, Ellie. Di, I've been so unhappy. I guess we're both a bit upset. Sure we are. You come along with me tonight, and I'll make you forget your troubles. Come on. No. I just sort of want to go over it all again. Alone. With myself. Okay. But I wish you'd come along and get a kick out of life the way I do. Oh, 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 how I adore you. Oh, 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 how I adore you. Do, 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 do. He won't hold us much longer. Have you a drink with you? Children, at Christmas, the world bows to truth, honor, and love. Today I have had that brought home to me more forcibly than ever. A great account. The new caste business. That was secured by the rigid adherence to these ideals and principles. You may uh, smoke if you wish. Thank you. Jay uh, has not been a model youth. I have battled with his idleness, his extravagance, his drinking. But this heedless, stupid marriage pales his other blunders by comparison. In other words, you think him stupid to have married me. Lita, wild as I know my son to be, he never would have married a girl under such conditions except to conceal some disgraceful escapade. Just a minute, Mr. Roundtree. You can't talk to me like that. I'm not a fool, Leader. There's a lack in you. No serious girl would ever have married as hastily as you have. It proves that there is something other than romance back of it all. You forget. I didn't ask your son to marry me. Leader, I blame my son more than you. I was in hopes he'd marry some decent, respectable girl. But apparently, he had a different idea on the subject. You have much to answer for. All right. If you must hear it, I'll be glad to tell you. If there's any telling to be done, I'll tell it. Go ahead and tell it straight. It's one thing you don't have to worry about. In the last few minutes, I've realized how much worry I've caused you, Dad. And I'm ashamed to add to my long list of errors by admitting this one. I married Lita believing I had wronged her. Instead, I was the sucker that she needed. My name served her purpose. It was a fair deal. The Round Tree Company got the new cast business through me. We got the new cast business through you? Yes, me. Not your beautiful ideals and principles. Why, I... I can't believe it. It's true, all right. Ask Newcast if you dare. Now we're about even, except for that good old name of Roundtree. That's one thing you won't get back yet. I like it. I'll modernize it. You wouldn't dare. Oh, 
wouldn't I? I'll smear the proud old name of Roundtree across every front page in town. That will wear off some of those precious principles. You wanton father. Think it over, Father Roundtree. Hello, Ellen. This is Lou Albans. How do you feel? Oh, I'm, I'm all right, Lou. Di tells me you're over there by yourself. Now be sensible. You're not doing yourself any good. You got to snap out of it sometime. So why not start right now? I'm coming over for you. Well, I just can't, Lou. No, 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 no Ellen. I won't take no. This is just a quiet little party tonight. Now, please say yes. Oh, all right, Lou. I'll be ready when you get here. Great. I'll be right over for you. Gee, thanks, Lou. She wouldn't for me, and I knew she would for you. <laughs> How is coming down, sir? Hello, Lou. Oh, Lita. Hello, the girl. OK. How come you're not at the Lindsay party? I am. I just dropped over for a minute. I'm going right back. Ellen! Say, you look a man. Thanks, Lou. You're awfully nice to me. Forget it, kid. Well, let's go get some laughs. All right. Good night, Lita. Good night, Lou. Do be careful. Hello, Miss Kater. It appears that I have visitors. Oh, officers of the law. What are you after? A drink? No, but you can have one if it'll help you talk better. Listen, big boy, I don't need a drink to make me talk. But it's a good excuse, isn't it? Jerry, if you remember the night we pinched that King girl, she made the same rush for the liquor. They always do when they're guilty. <coughs> What do you want to talk about? Sit down. Well, a gentleman in the police force. Now listen, sister. You'll find a lot of boys who are not gentlemen before you get out of this. Say, what's all this about? What do you want from me? Everything you know about this Madam Lindsay and this party girl racket of hers. Yeah, come clean and save yourself a lot of grief. Don't be silly. I'm Mrs. J. Roundtree. Oh, yes, yes, we know all about that. But the story of your marriage won't sound so romantic when you tell it from the witness stand, will it? 
Don't give me that. You don't know anything about me. Now, wait a minute. Tonight, we're raiding a lot of these parties. We are going to clamp the lid on this party girl racket. So? What? We want witnesses to back up the evidence we already have. You can tell us what you know here or later down at the station. What good will it do me to talk here? It means that you won't have to spend a couple of weeks in jail as a state's witness. It's up to you. All right. What do you want to know? Come on, Miss Kither. I don't want any more of your stalling. I'm not stalling. What do you want me to do? Make up a bunch of lies? Well, get your coat on. You said if I talked, you'd let me off. I'm sorry, but I think you could tell us a lot more if you want to. The atmosphere is different where we are going to take you. I told you everything I could remember. You'd be surprised how people's memory improves after being where you're going for a while. Please let me stay here. I won't run away. No kidding. Let's go. Can I part of my nose? Certainly. She's wise, that little girl. Keep after it, Chief. I think she's breaking. She isn't, sir. Where'd she go? She doesn't know where, sir. What's the matter? What's happened? Here. Uh, what what is here? She, I don't know where she is. She's right over here again. Look at that. She's in a bad way. Lita. She fell from the sixth floor. Get an ambulance, quick. Take the girl. Who is she? Stay around, please. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Lita. Lita. You're going to be all right. Honest you are. Come on now. You'll be all right. Jerry. Helen. Paul. Is that Maud Lindsay? They're going to raid the party. I'm sorry. Poor kid. from the fire escape, evading the police. Jerry, I'm terribly sorry. I came to warn you that...
Sit down. What did my wife say? All right, Dad. Yeah. Well, our own Madam Maud Lindsay of 10th Avenue, huh? Of Park Avenue, sir. And don't call me Madam. Park Avenue or 10th Avenue, it's still Madam to me. Come on. Now, wait a minute, sir. I tell you, this is all a mistake. Oh, uh, what do you want? Move along now. Come on. What do you want? Now, never mind that puppet stuff. Move along. Wait a minute. Come on. Move along. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm Jay Roundtree, John Roundtree's son, president of the Manufacturers Association. You may know him. I do. Can you identify yourself? Yes, sir. All right, my boy, we won't have to hold you. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, this is Miss Powell with me. She's my dad's secretary. You won't need her either, will you? Well, I don't know about that. She wasn't with you 20 minutes ago in the other apartment. But don't you see, sir, she's not one of these party girls. She couldn't be. Well, you'd be doing her a grave injustice if you put her in jail with women of this sort. Well, if you were right, I guess we won't have to hold her. However, I'll check up through the Lindsay woman. Madam Lindsay, is Miss Powell one of your girls? Yes, she is. It's a lie. If you don't believe me, look in my file. Clancy, see if you can find a photograph or listing in this woman's files of Ellen Powell. Ridiculous. Miss Powell's my father's secretary. I can vouch for that. Well, all right. Now, just a moment. We'll clean this matter up very soon, and then she will have a clean slate. If she has, I'll eat your hat. It's the girl, all right, Chief. Yes. Jim, take her downstairs with the others. Yes, sir. Oh, but, Doyle, this is wrong. It's unfair. Oh, is it? <laughs> Miss Manning. You tell them what you know about her. Jay, it's true. I want to tell you about... All right, madam. I will tell them what I know. We'll straighten this out. The girl is okay. She's refused call after call from Madam Lindsay. She's straight. We have nothing on her. Sorry to break up your little party, madam. <laughs> you... Dirty little stew pigeon, you sneaking, prowling, content of all right. Rat. Just in a day's work, you know. Take them out of here. Get them all out. Come on, <laughs> madam. Come on. Jim. I'll get even with you for this. That's all right. Mail. Come on, I'm madam. Chief. All right. Now, you two kids are out of this. But I advise you to stay up here for a while so that none of those fresh Alec reporters downstairs see you. <laughs> I, I, I was wondering if, if maybe, uh, after all this, you know, if, if possibly you... Of course I could live in that little rose-covered, duckle-covered, mortgage-covered cottage or any old place with you, Jay, dear. <laughs> oh, 